You bleeding? What? You bleeding? Yeah, my hand. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Andrew back again. And Hunter. In this video, we're going to be taking the sway bar off. As you can see, the, the bushing is completely blown out. And the reason the bushing is blown out is because I put this uh, hockey puck up here basically for it to level out. I got new coils for it and I want to powder coat this or the new coil and the sway bar link to silver the master truck. So I want to go ahead and take the sway bar off. It's only a couple bolts and nuts. So I'm not going to show like a, you know, taking the sway bar off. It's pretty self-explanatory. You got like one calcinate on both sides and like four bolts, I think, on the bottom side. So the reason I'm making this video is for one, you guys always tell me to record more. I try not to. You need a breaker bar? <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see Andrew's skinny he didn't drink his milk this morning so he has to use the breaker bar <laughs> but uh you guys always tell me to record more I don't record too much only because once I get started working on the truck I kind of just forget about it and we just work on it and get it done and after we're done we're like shit we didn't record so this one we decided to go ahead and take it out like I said I'm not going to be showing how to take the sway bar off I'm just going to make a short video and the reason I'm making this video is because a couple people I know don't run sway bars in their second gens and a lot of people say it actually makes a truck feel a little bit tighter it drives a little bit better and smoother so while i have my sway bar off i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with or show you guys <laughs> my opinions on having the sway bar on and off i don't think it'll affect this truck too much only because i'm only on 33s and i already have aftermarket shocks and i'll be having aftermarket coils on it as well so the truck will still be pretty tight in corners um I think it really affects more people that tow with their truck constantly, like getting onto the highway constantly and, you know, probably above 35s or so. With this truck being so much low or lower to the ground, I don't think I have too much body roll compared to those guys. So I don't know if this will be a good experiment or a bad experiment, but I figured while I have it off, I'll go ahead and show you guys my experiences with having the sway bar off and my experiences with it on. So we're gonna go ahead and rip this bad boy off and we'll get back to you. <laughs> all right guys just got the sway bar off took all of about five minutes it took i think it was was it a 19 on the castle nuts and, a, 19 and a, 15 with an extension. a 15 with an extension to get the and the breaker bar and our where's the breaker bar all right put it back. i gotta put it up but uh these were these are 15 yeah those are the 15. there's four of these holding the sway bar brackets on these are all 15 and then there's the sway bar end links uh there's a nut on the top we had to take off and then the castle nut on the bottom which is a 19 i believe it was yeah. uh it's all pretty handy like i said it only takes about five minutes to take off we're gonna go ahead and go run and grab some neat real fast so we're gonna drive there drive around for a little bit and we'll catch back up with you guys to tell you my initial impressions on taking the sway bar off and if there's any major change in how the truck performs i don't know if there'll be a, a really major change only because like i said i had the aftermarket shocks already so that's going to take most of the swaying away uh, when i go around corners and with the aftermarket coils that'll take a little bit away but i'm going to go ahead and like i said run and grab something to eat so we'll get back to you just made it to the powder coating shop now i got the colors out here i want to see which colors or what silvers match my truck the best for the sway bar this tahoe Rings. No, man, I love this thing. It just stands out. Yeah, it's. It, I, I'd rather have a new Tahoe or a this Tahoe than a new one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I would take like a 2000, 
Run out to the res real quick. Run out to the res. Oh shit, you old dirty Max staring us down. Talking shit. Is he trying to race? I don't know, maybe. He wasn't trying to race and pull that big ass trailer. That's a fire holes trailer. Turn right up here. Keep on going. Right this next level. Yeah, he might be trying to race the last one of the I'm doing 70 right now, 55. And he's trying to catch up. There's no way this dirt is trying to race. He's gotta be smarter than that. Right here, right here, right here. I don't think I'm a freaking douchebag. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, damn. That's for sale. He's probably all the Cummins blew a turbo and I have to pull off because it's embarrassing. My Duramax is going to beat him. But now he's getting over like beating here. I know this probably sounds awful in the video, but it actually is like taking the bumps and stuff. Oh but yeah, it's like, a lot smoother than it used to be. Like we just went over a lot of bumps right there and you couldn't even feel it. Like you, like you hear it, but you don't really like necessarily yeah. feel it. Well you like, hear it because you're like, around. bed bushings or whatever the hell they are. Oh, yeah, it's so. No, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. It really like, is. Like on we're the, being at 99. On, when you had it, like we would have been bouncing all over the place, but no oh, shoot. Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. Out on the rails. guys for driving the truck for a couple hours we been running a couple errands dropped the front sway bar off at a powder coating shop i got a little bit of video of it and the guy that owns the powder co coating shop drives that tahoe a uh, really cool tahoe it actually stands out i've never personally seen it around town but I guess he says he drives it on a daily basis i guess we just always miss each other um but i dropped the sway bar off i was gonna go with silver i decided to go away from silver the guy at the powder coating shop and hunter in there talked me out of it uh 
the silver would have looked really cool. I was getting like a sparky metallic silver, but I decided to go with a different color. I'm not gonna say the color just yet because I wanna see if it'll throw you guys off. It's nothing too crazy. It's not wild or anything. The color actually is called wild, uh, but I got a different color than silver. I think it'll look really, really good on the truck. I'm gonna do the front sway bar, rear sway bar, the coils and the upper and lower control arms on the truck. So we'll see how good it looks whenever it gets done. We've been out here on the trails for a little bit, doing a little bit of trail riding, nothing too crazy. We're not off-roading <laughs> or rock crawling or anything, whatnot. But I do feel like just driving the truck and a little bit of off-roading we're doing that the axle does, I would say flex a little bit more. Like I said, I haven't done anything crazy with it, but I do feel like it takes a little bit more abuse on the front end. And the, I feel like it's tighter as a matter of fact, like in the turns, I don't know why. It could just be my mind playing with me, but I feel like the truck's actually tighter uh, going around corners. And like I said, the axle takes a little bit more abuse. I know a lot of the guys on the Cummins forums say to always run a sway bar. I mean, definitely if you're towing, I would always recommend running a sway bar. In my opinion, with the truck that I'm running, like I said, I, I do medium towing. I don't do anything too crazy. I just pull our boat now and then, now our jet ski. That's about the most towing I do. Uh, I'm, I'm, of course, putting the sway bar back on, but in my opinion, with the sway bar being off right now, you definitely can drive the truck without a sway bar. So don't even, you know, don't let anybody say you can't. I would say if you decide to take the sway bar off, only do it if you're big into off-roading. And even then, they have the sway bar quick disconnects. You can always still run a sway bar, just disconnect them whenever you go off-road and just reconnect them when you get back on the road. But as for driving the truck, the truck's not crazy. I mean, I'm definitely able to still control it going up to speeds. I mean, I think we're just doing like 80 and it was still like under control even going around corners. I, there wasn't any major body roll. But like I said, guys, it would, every application is going to be different. My truck's pretty low on 33s. If you're a truck on like 40s and you're trying to go around a, a highway corner going 70 miles an hour, you might have a little, or you would have a lot more body roll than I necessarily do. So like I said, it all depends on your application. Just because it works on mine and my truck runs fine, doesn't mean it will for years. So I always take that into consideration. Uh, but like I said, this isn't a video I would have normally made. I just figured while I had the sway bar off, I would just say my opinion on running sway bar and not running the sway bar and the differences I can tell between not running it and running it. I think my brother, as a matter of fact, doesn't run a sway bar. You can go ask him. I think when he did his leveling kit, he went ahead and just left his whole sway bar off because I think his sway bar end links were too short. Mine were too. I just have to put my sway bar back on and just stretch the end links as far as I could. And as you can tell, it didn't work out the bushing. It just ended up blowing out on me. But I think that's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you guys have any other questions, let me know over Instagram at WhatTheDuck. Uh, the sway bar video will probably be coming, I think, either next week. It'll be later in the week, either Thursday or Friday, or the week after. The color I got, he didn't have in store or in shop or in stock I should say uh, so he had to order it so that, he said he should get that about Tuesday then have it prepped and ready by then and probably spray it maybe Wednesday or Thursday and I might get it back Friday if not Friday it'll be Monday so uh, keep a heads up for that or I'll give you guys a heads up for that video when it comes out and other than that guys I appreciate you guys always watching my videos and subscribe to see more thanks